Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? Good? Excellent. I am super excited to be here to talk about the new horizons in entertainment. And let's start with a picture. When you look at this, what do you see? Do you see poor kids, a low-end device, perhaps a low-end network? Or do you see wonder? Do you see them immersed in a story, completely lost, and the screen has disappeared? One of the kids has even forgotten to take the little collar off their mouth. Whether it's the Bollywood story that completely makes the screen disappear, or the technology that augments your reality, Entertainment is getting ready to explode across multiple screens, form factors, and geographies. And more often than not, your story is likely to be told by someone else. We have found that YouTube viewership for mobile games has increased 342%. So as we stand here, and look at what is happening in entertainment across the very broad platform of Android and Play, the question we have found is what makes success? And we found the first thing is figure out what your user wants. As I said before, when I say build an entertainment app or a game for emerging markets, do you think that it has to be really dumbed down? Think about how it works for perhaps a lower end thing. We asked Indian developers, and they said their users visualize apps like this in the emerging markets, smart, savvy, and fast. How is that even possible? We realized that there are media companies in India who have videos on their apps which has six seconds long. Have you tried telling a story in six seconds? They have immersive games that are less than 15 megs. Have you tried to write a game which is less than 15 megs? When we heard those stories back at Google, we challenged our own engineers to say, how do we get all of Android on lower end devices? And that brought us Android Go a full-fledged Android that works on affordable devices, which means your apps can be smart and savvy and fast for everybody, and that you can create that wonder that you saw in that picture for everyone around the world. Think about AR. We brought together a bunch of people, and we gave them a plastic screen, and we said, what do you think AR is going to do? What do you think they said? They actually said, take things away. Make me focus. Don't add to my already noisy life. Your users will tell you a different story. Take this game, for example, Beat Fever, a music game built around virtual rooms where somebody can go in, it's person versus person, and you can actually engage in music events. Who do you think tells that story? Is the DJs with whom you can play with? So, what are your users telling you? Are you listening to what creates wonder in their lives? The second thing we found when we talked to users is they said, please, focus on the fundamentals. That seems so obvious and cliched, isn't it? But believe it or not, 50% of one-star reviews on Google Play is because the app is either not stable or has bugs. Why would you launch an app like that? And 60% of the five-star reviews talk about speed, design, and usability. 
Seems obvious, isn't it? Who in your organization is being rewarded for focusing on the fundamentals? Do you have a culture where quality matters? Are you having communications? When your user tells them, are you replying to them? Do you know who they are? Do they all seem the same to you? Where are they talking and what are they saying? And that's a question that will define whether you win or lose in the future of entertainment. The last thing we found is that there is three key rules which we find is the difference between apps that become a super success and ones that don't. They focus on one engagement metric. They write the story for the long run. And they deliver value in one minute. How does that work? YouTube. What do you think is the one engagement metric for YouTube? Watch time, right? Makes sense. What do you think is the one engagement metric for Pinterest? Pinterest spent a lot of time thinking, is it DAU? Is it MAU? Is it whatever else? And you know what they found? It is weekly active re-pinners or warps. That single engagement metric has fundamentally changed how YouTube thinks about its marketing, thinks about his user engagement, and thinks about how they design their product. Have you considered what is your one engagement metric, especially if you're going to build an app or a game for the long run? Here's Star Wars, built in the 80s. Do you think that George Lucas could be telling the story today if right at the offset, he did not think of multiple episodes? You know that J.K. Rowling, when she built uh, the Harry Potter series, actually wrote seven books at a stretch. When you're telling your characters, what is their long-term conversation with your users? Are you thinking of the launch? Or are you thinking of a long-term conversation? And when you have all of that, how are you going to give the value in one minute or less? This is Reigns. Reigns is the winner of the Indie Game Festival, which we ran last year in 2000, I mean this year in 2017. Reigns is developed by a developer who is a history major and a literature major, wanted to write an app, I mean, a game, which is about you being a benevolent or a malevolent dictator or a ruler in medieval times. I've already used a lot of words, isn't it? More than a minute. But you can get into this entire thing with a Tinder-like swipe. And you are into history, playing a game, in medieval times, almost with the complexity of Game of Thrones. When your user gets into your app or game, what do they experience in the first minute? So what is your one engagement metric? Are you building for a long-term conversation? Are your characters have longevity? And what do people experience in the first minute that they click on your app or game. If you don't have those answers, I encourage you to find them soon. Before I hand off to three amazing people, Holly, Nikolai, and Andrew, who are all people I respect, admire, and have the privilege of working with in my role on Google Play, I do want to pause for a minute and ask the question that I think we all should answer as an industry. What is sustainable engagement? As you have built your apps and games, have you figured out what is capacity for your users? Do you feel that they're maxing out on capacity? Are you engaging them sustainably? Will they come back 5, 10, 15 years?
from now? Do you worry about them reaching capacity and leaving? These are very important questions which I believe that we, as an industry, need to answer. We have to ask ourselves, while we think about the single engagement metric, are we setting incentives in our organizations to go too far? Or are we buckling down on the fundamentals and thinking about not just quality, but also sustainability? That your users, therefore, like with Star Wars, or with the amazing games that the next set of speakers will talk about, Minecraft, Super Fiends, and the many, many games that Kabam has launched, show you how to build a sustainable relationship with your users. That is what is going to cause that wonder that you saw in the very first picture or in this. A user engaged with your content the world around you disappears, and there is that connection between the user and your content. And that can happen only if we, each one of us, commit to doing it sustainably in a way that we can have a conversation for a very long time. And with that, I hand you over to the next speaker. Thank you.